around him? Well, I think he's already betrayed working people in terms of making sure, in his view, that Wall Street is in the driver's seat. And what I mean by that is, is that uh, in an emerging neo-fascist moment, you have the rule of big business, which is big banks and big corporations. You scapegoat the most vulnerable. It could be Muslims, Mexicans, gay brothers, lesbians, sisters, indigenous peoples, black people, Jews, and so on. And then you also have militaristic orientations around the world. And so you see the, ex ex the extension of the repressive apparatus as those of us who hit the streets, those of us who have been willing to go to jail, we have to recognize we'll have more coming at us under Trump administration. But the crucial thing is, is that he had talked about his connection with working people, and it's clear that uh, the 1 percent are still running things. But you've also said, uh, uh, Dr. West, you just said that his administration uh, will be neo-fascist. Could That's you right. explain, what do you mean by that, neo-fascist well, as opposed to fascist, and what the two mean? Well, neo-fascist, is it's an American-style form of fascism. And what I mean by that is we've, we've had a neoliberal rule from Carter to Obama. That neoliberal rule left in place a national security state. It left in place massive surveillance. It left in place the ability of the president to kill an American citizen with no due process. That's Obama. That was the culmination of the neoliberal era. Now you get someone who's narcissistic, which is to say, out of control psychologically, who is ideologically confused, which is to say, in over his head. And who does he choose? The most right-wing reactionary zealots, which lead toward the arbitrary deployment of law, which is what neo-fascism is, but to reinforce corporate interests, big bank interests, and to keep track of those of us who are cast as other, peoples of color, women, Jews, Arabs. Muslims, Mexicans, and so forth and so on. So this is one of the most frightening moments in the history of this very fragile uh, empire. And fra